kids, Marshall here, and I'm back today with a new video transmission. And to all of you who are new, welcome, and thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your enthusiasm in learning about technology. The people of the Deus Cube would be so proud. So, the other day, do you remember what we learned about? What was that? What did you say? That's right. We learned about the basics of your motherboard in your computer. Wasn't that so much fun? Here, check this out. If this is your first time coming by, Make sure to check out the channel and watch the very first video transmission. You'll then understand what the backbone of your computer is. Now, this is the second episode of Build a Computer. So I thought it would be a good idea for you to learn about the part of your computer that a lot of us need two of. Can you guess what part we're going to be learning about today? Think real hard. Here, I'll refresh your memory. In the very first video, I talked about what we're gonna be learning about in this series. I said the motherboard, RAM, the solid state drive, your power supply, graphics processing unit, and CASIS. So kids, Think really hard about what we're learning about today and shout it at me. Yes, that's right. Today, this video transmission is about the random access memory, also known as RAM. But today, we're going to relate this computer part to your body as well. The random access memory of your computer is much like the short-term memory in you and me. And boy, it is sure a mouthful to say random access memory all the time. So let's just call it RAM for short. So I think here's a good point to pause the video for a break. Go get a snack and some water. I'll go get some too. Let's go together and meet back here in a bit. And before we begin again, let me take this time to shout out my little cousin who's been watching my videos from the start. Hey, Sydney, thanks for watching and thanks for all of your cool suggestions. I appreciate it and I love you. All right, so now that we've refreshed ourselves, let's learn a bit about your brain. Do you remember when I said, let's go get a snack earlier? You do? Well, that's good. That means that what I said was stored in your short-term memory. And your short-term memory is used to store information briefly so that if you need it shortly after, you'd be able to remember the information very well. That's why you were able to remember what I said about getting a snack earlier. Or even something in school that happened today. Speaking of, how was school today? If you were able to remember anything about school at all today, congratulations. You just used your short-term memory. And much like your brain's short-term memory, the RAM is the short-term memory of your computer. So the easiest way that I can explain this to you is let's say you were playing a game on your favorite website. The first time loading, it may have taken a little bit longer than we may have liked. But let's say you closed the website after you started playing it for a little bit, went to go take a break because mom was on your back about getting some water and getting some fresh air, and you came back about 10 minutes later. You would notice that the game might load a bit faster. And that's because your RAM has stored certain bits of your favorite web page in its short term memory. Now, kids. It's important to remember that every single one of us is gifted in our own special way. Some of us can remember eight states, 
Some of us can remember 16 states. Some of us can even remember 24 states. And a very small amount of us can remember as much as 36 states in America. And much like all of you uniquely gifted kids, your RAM can come in many different memory sizes too. But the most common that I want you to remember are 8, 16, 24, and 32. Those are the most common sizes of RAM available. And trust me kids, I'll teach you all about the actual size of the memory in a different episode, don't you worry. But you know what time it is now. It's time for another break. And I tell you what, when we come back, I'm gonna show you how to install RAM on your motherboard. So go get some water, go get a quick snack, and I'll meet you back here, okay? Pause the video here. And when you come back, we get to install our new favorite friend, Mr. Random Access Memory. Hurry up, kids. installing our RAM and now we're two parts into how to build a computer. So what did we learn today? We learned that RAM comes in all sorts of different sizes. Also that it's very 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 easy to install. And if you get RAM like this, the Vengeance RGB Pro by Corsair, you'll also be able to see colorful lights inside your computer. Isn't that awesome? In my computer? I have four. We also learned that RAM is a very essential part of making your computer work. It's the short-term memory of your computer. Without it, your computer would forget things all the time. Boy, we sure did learn a lot today. Now I want you to remember you can always rewind this video if you need to and take the time that you need to learn about random access memory. Well, that's all I have for today, kids. I hope you had a good time. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you have a good day tomorrow. I'll see you next time.